You have to realize that your purpose is always there. Your purpose is in your nature. It's in your skill set. And how do you how do you ultimately find out what your skill set is? Number one, you have to know yourself. Number two, you have to explore. You have to learn. You have to read books. Okay. You have to accumulate certain knowledge so you can know what's going on in your mind. Okay. You have to know that you're good at math or you're not good at math. You have to know that you're on certain things and going certain places and converting this energy to another energy one of my best friends her i believe her purpose is to be a politician just because she's just so just she knows it yeah anyways so your purpose is always there it's in your nature it's in your skill set but you definitely have to explore and try new things for you to be very certain what your purpose is okay it's in your nature and one good way to find out what your purpose is a great way try a whole bunch of things and and remind yourself what you would never do what you oh, i appreciate this experience but i'm never fucking doing that shit again or you have to remind yourself what you would definitely never do even if you've never tried it for example i don't want to be a garbage man i would never be a well i don't want to use the word never but if they pay the you know you know what I'm saying but another way man definitely stress your subconscious mind stress is useful i made a video when i was a little baby i was an infant i think i was like 23 when i said there's no use for stress it only causes no that's not true stress can be very useful all you have to do is wait wait don't stress out about it right now use that stress for later Bro, use that stress to program your subconscious mind, bro. Ask your subconscious mind questions. Subconscious mind, what is my purpose? Subconscious mind, I have this plan to make a million dollars, but where should I start? Or, you know, any, literally anything, bro. Literally anything. I don't want to go to the whole super subconscious, collective, con I don't want to do that. That's for you to research, man. Okay? Super conscious, collective consciousness, all of that 
the Akashic Records, the Universal Mind. Do that, bro. Do that. All right. It's just a little bit of meditation, a little bit of reading. You'll figure it out. All right. Nextly, I need you. I need you to really understand, bro. Everybody's purpose is not this grand, super deluxe, divine, fucking world-changing thing. Some people, is, baby, your purpose is to just work at Burger King and 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 just just cook them fry. Like I, I can't. I, I'm not lying. I'm not lying, bro. Not everybody is supposed to be Ramses the Second, man. I happen to be one of those people who is Ramsey's the second reincarnated. But not everybody's purpose is not going to be this great. You're going to be the president. You're going to be the first black woman president with um, with dreadlocks in the office. Like, no, everybody is fine, bro. It's fine. Okay, everybody's not supposed to be a chief. We need Indians too, baby. But this goes back to my day side, night side thing, all right? Your night side purpose, unless you're an atheist, is always grand and divine. You might be a door opener. You might be somebody who masters astral projection and is supposed to help people that have died pass on to the other side. And you might have to fight this cosmic battle and this holy war. It could be, it could be amazing. See, the thing about the day side and the night side purposes are your day side purpose is your host. It's just the body. It's the physical shell. Your night side purpose, what you do with your magic, what you do with your subconscious mind, what you do when you are alone, your shadow purpose. That's so sexy, shadow purpose. I should write that down. That is what is going to feed you. You don't need to, you don't like, let me write this shadow purpose. Bars, nigga. You don't need to, and you probably would never hear me say this motherfucking shit again, but you don't need to be a fucking millionaire, a gazillionaire, a trillionaire, or a thousandaire. Well, nah, you need to be a thousandaire, but you don't need all this money to be able to live a specific type of way, a specific type of um, lifestyle energetically, okay, just because Gunna is wearing off-white V-Lon and driving Bentleys and sipping lean and all of that, feeling good about his life, doesn't mean that you can't feel just as good about your life, even if you live in a in a situation that is not financially um, supported by large, amount, large amounts of money. Wow, that was a very creative sentence. But... I do need you to understand that the more energy that you put in your night side purpose and you consciously balance it with the, the, the parts of your day side purpose that you can't control, such as your mental health, your physical health, your emotional health, you're gonna you're going to manifest the money, man. So when your night side purpose is good, you're open, you're doing your shadow work, you're doing your breathing exercises, you're staying away from bullshit ass motherfuckers. Everything's gonna flow to you, man. Just make sure your chakras are open. You're not eating McDonald's and you're drinking water and you're just fucking it up on the night side, bro. I'm not, should you be imbalanced? Fuck no, no. If you don't have to work at Burger King, my nigga, guess what you should not be doing? Exactly. Working at Burger You could get a, a bank job easy as long as you don't have a record. All right. So, anyways, you next need to figure out. I mean, I already said this. You need to figure out your skills and where you are willing to put your mind in. This is where we we all know this. This should have actually been number one. So I apologize. Where are you going to put your mind to, to, to develop your skills and to realize your purpose? This is about realizing your purpose. You know your skills. You know what you're good at. You know what you think you want to do, but you don't have that confirmation and information. What are you going to do with your mind? Now, you got three choices, my nigga. The first thing is you could be in a high-knowledge, low-performance, low-production, I'm just going to say career, job or career, all right, which means that you have to learn a lot, you have to read a lot, you have to study, do homework, take a test, reinvest, rinse, wash, repeat, okay? You got to go to college for 8 to 10 to 20 years, okay? Teachers, judges... Teachers don't have to go to school for that long, but I know judges do, okay? So high knowledge, low production, all right? Or you could be high production 
with not that much knowledge. People who work on oil rigs make a decent amount of money, and that money could be utilized to do whatever you want. I don't know what you want to do with your life. You don't either. That's why you're watching this video. Okay, and then we have a balance, man. This is the balance. I think is the hardest thing because the more you learn, the more you earn. But you could be putting yourself in a position where you still have to do hella shit. Such as a surgeon. Surgeons know a lot of things about surgery. But you still have to do the motherfucking surgery. Trust me, I met a surgeon when I was in jail. His name was Brian Bacardi. He was a Jew. He was funny, but he was still kind of annoying. And his head was really big. Okay? Literally and figuratively. So, that nigga makes like $20,000 a week. Okay, because he does four five thousand dollar surgeries and he takes home twenty thousand dollars that's a lot of work that's a lot of surgery hand surgery foot surgery nigga what what that nigga had to go to school for like 20 years he had to learn the business and he's still a surgeon and he has his own surgery um place so figure out what you want to do as far as that amount of work and keep in mind like I said your purpose is not gonna always be this grand I'm gonna invent a motherfucking um an electric guitar that when you ch uh switch this the third string is a drum like nigga what just relax relax you could fucking write kids books or something like that's a that's a pretty good purpose bro right so um that's it, man. I'm going to go back over it. So my definition for purpose was your natural function in society, which aids in your ability to function at your highest potential and move through life with minimal effort and acquired damage. Damn, I should have I should have just read that shit. So notice natural function in society, highest potential. You working at Burger King for the rest of your life. I know and you know it's not your highest potential in a way but think about it like this if you went to let's say robin williams what if robin williams's purpose was to work at burger king for the rest of his life and just make the people who come to burger king laugh what if that he was not supposed to kill himself do you think nobody's purpose is to commit so well, well that's subjective i don't want to go into that too too much but I believe that a lot of people are not supposed to commit suicide, especially when they have that much attention on them. So, just because it's making you a lot of money, and just because it's practical, just because it's super creative and nobody else is going to think of it, just because it's going to benefit you a lot, that doesn't mean that's your motherfucking purpose. You could just tell somebody else. That's not going to kill themselves and not going to stress out and do all kind of drugs and end up under a fucking bridge to, for them to do it. Okay, and you could work at Burger King and live stress-free. Should you work at Burger King? No, fuck Burger King. But, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Alright, so next. You could day side, night side, man. Day side purpose, the money. The paper power pussy. That's the day side, pretty much. Making sure that you're healthy making sure that you're not harming, well, do what you want to do. I'm not going to tell you what, you shouldn't harm people. You should, if they deserve it. And then your night side purpose, man, just on that spiritual realm. Everybody has a spiritual purpose. If you're a door opener, if you're supposed to slay the dragons that creep around little kids' rooms at night, that's a pretty cool purpose. I'm glad that's not my purpose. But if it's yours, go ahead and get it. Um, and um, just on the spiritual realm because everybody has a spiritual purpose atheist spiritual purpose is to be atheist and remind us how wonderful it is to not be a fucking atheist and to actually believe in some real shit and then um, if you're an atheist however just make sure you help people because that's where the money is Like if that's your spiritual purpose boom, you're going to get money from that it's going to clear you up, clear your karma things are going to flow into your life all kind of shit 
leave the world a better place make sure you live that physical immortality meaning when you die people are going to be talking about you and saying how amazing or how much of a fucking dick face cockmaster you are either way you're going to get a lot of energy and when you reincarnate or if you're just going to be immortal sitting around flowing drinking spiritual beer then you know you're still going to get that energy you feel me and then just realize that your purpose is always there it's in your nature it's what you wouldn't never think of at some point in your life until you listen to this video and then have sex with your girlfriend or boyfriend or both and then nextly use stress to program your subconscious mind to bring out what your purpose is when you do this all right i should have told you how to do it earlier so what you do is you take all the stress in your life you put yourself under a lot of pressure tell yourself that you're going to your purpose is going to be revealed to you in a specific amount of time and then forget about it now don't make it today and don't make it tomorrow don't even make it next month don't even make it two months just think about a practical fucking time for you to realize your purpose okay and i'm gonna put a spell up to help you guys realize your purpose it works for me it took a little longer than 10 days like i said it would in the book but that's fine as soon as I hit that weed, I literally found out my purpose today. And I did that ritual like 15 days ago. It was, it's lit. It's lit. It's really like that. Um, and realize not everybody's purpose is this grand, amazing thing, okay? Make sure that you know yourself, know your skills, make sure it's practical, make sure that it comes to you with ease it doesn't always have to be easy but if you have to do too much to figure it out then it's probably not your purpose it's probably your mind playing tricks on you making sure make sure that you balance out and be real about what you want to do if you don't want to go if your purpose requires you to have a lot of education bro and you are just really not the student i'm not saying that's not your purpose but you gotta invest in that first don't just go to school because you're like damn i know i i knew i needed to be a doctor the last time i stabbed a nigga that shit was just so beautiful nigga he didn't even bleed that much but he died like instantly like i think i should be a surgeon for real just like my mom told me <laughs> but yeah anyways make sure that part bro high knowledge low production high production little knowledge or a balance all right and um, this is a long ass video. How long is it? Like 20 minutes? Facts. All right, so that's it, man. I'm the band, you the band, we the band together, man. Life is in the breath, and Moses. Oh my God. Breathe it in. Peace.